Hello everyone, as you could see, this world has improved by leaps and bounds. This was no longer a beach, but instead a port that I have put together and a bunch of new buildings and such that I will get through, but here's a quick update of what I have added. I've added, sorry. Firstly, as you could tell, there is this boat here. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I felt like I did okay, but it's a little hard to build boats for me personally because I'm not really good at building boats. I haven't decorated it or furnished it yet. This would be the captain's quarters, and this is where you would steer the boat that you can't really see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I don't know. I don't know how to build boats. I'm not really good at it. I looked at a couple of pictures for references, and this is what I could build. So. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the beta version of this game, but anyways, as we make our way up here, I transformed this small building, which used to be the first building that I created, and I decided to make it a two-story building now. I think it was a little too underwhelming making it just a single story, so I changed that, made it a little bigger. Inside hasn't been fully furnished yet. Um, well actually, you know, it's, it's slightly furnished. The attic is still pretty empty because, you know, I'm kind of lazy, but anyways, this is a tavern that I have built where people who get off of the boat could come in and rest for the day. This is the little bar area. Um, over here is the kitchen where there's some food and wheat and stuff where the waiter or waitress can serve their food. And then if we make our way up on here, there are some rooms, tiny rooms, with just a bed at the moment. Um, maybe I'll add some bookshelves and stuff in here too to make it feel a little bit more homely, but nothing too special at the moment. And if we make our way up here, there's four more beds. Um, in total, there is eight rooms. And up here is a little attic where I think I'll probably put some more storage, but you know me. I don't really furnish attics, I just leave them empty and barren, which I should really not do. But make your way on out of here. Um, I added a little cropland to this area, and I extended some paths that go up this way and a path that goes up to the library. If you haven't seen the build for this yet, make sure you um, refer back to the first episode, which is the one before this one. <laughs> And if we continue on over here, I have built two more houses. These two houses are just ordinary commoner villager houses. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, as you can tell, the wheat has grown very high over here. But if we make our way on in here, it's just a small living area, kitchen, little coat rack. Um, here is the bedroom. I often use this house to sleep in time to time. And if you haven't guessed it, if you hadn't guessed yet, um, the attic is empty. Okay, so um, on our way over here, we have another building. This one's pretty, pretty compact. I don't know. I don't know the best way to put it. It's just kind of small. Um, if we make our way up on here, I haven't really furnished it yet. There's just a small little chest here, and Hey, at least in this attic, there's a workbench, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I haven't really um, furnished this building. It's a little hard because it's just so tiny. And if we make our way on over here, look, the sun's setting. I have made a pathway that goes up this way. I plan to add some more houses, maybe one there and another one up here. And some lining up in this area. But... I eventually want to make a path that travels from here and goes all the way up there to the top. And up top there is where we are going to build a magnificent structure. I haven't decided yet on what it could be, but I have some ideas. But let's go to sleep as the sun is setting. For today's video, I thought about revamping my blacksmith, my forge area into sort of a workshop. I think it's a little underwhelming now, now that I have 
upgraded a bunch of buildings and added a bunch of new things. It just looks a little bit out of place. So I would like to perhaps change the the style, not make it so tiny and blocky. Maybe, who knows, I might even change this building too and that building, you know, revamp it a little bit. But yeah, here it is. Here's what it looks like right now. So enjoy it while you can. I think I want to make it um, pretty tall and a little bit of a little like workstation that is in this area. So yeah, let's let's tear it down. Let's tear it down. Okay, so now that we have torn down that foundation, the whole entire building, let's sort of plan out how we want to do this. I think I want it like this. Then we're going to have an open area here. Actually, let's push this wall back. Okay, I think that's the frame that I want. Now we should do the roof. And I don't have enough cobblestone stairs to do that. No time to make some. Okay, it's looking pretty decent. I don't know about this little part here, but it's not too bad. Now you can't do upside down stairs, so this is what I opted to. I wonder if it'll look better if I just did it like this. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. That looks pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. That looks pretty good. Now we have to fill it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that's the outside. Not too bad. I quite like this little area. Kind of cozy. Um, let's get this stair here. Yeah, quite cozy here. I don't know what I could add. Maybe some shelves. Some shelves would look pretty good. I like that, maybe. Then we'll add a slab on top. Yeah, do that. What about that? I like that. Okay. Looks pretty good. There we go. Alright, nice. Now that little area is pretty... Actually, let's get rid of this. Yeah, I think that looks... We could probably fix this up look a little better. Like this. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we just have to decorate the inside. Um, I'll probably leave the attic undone like I usually do, but... Probably be like a small bed in here, some books or something. Let's make a bed and some books. Oh yeah, this building looks much better. It looks like it belongs here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what that was, but let's add a bed facing the door, and then we will add a small little. Uh, what you call it? Little table. Piston table to this house. Nope, oh, nope, oh, that's not what I want to do. Add it there, and then we'll add a small bookshelf there. Mm -hmm. Then maybe some shelves up here, you know, to keep it a little cozy. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Pretty good to me, I'd say. Mm hmm. That was a good makeover for this little forge. Now it's become a workshop area where the townspeople can come to the um, blacksmith and he could fix up their weapons or gears and stuff like that. Now, I don't know what to do with this lava bucket. I don't know where I should put it. But let me adjust the paths really quick. I don't really like how they're looking right now. Change it. Let's do it like that. And perhaps we can just get rid of this. That. Mm -hmm. And only this path can 
curve out. Yeah, that looks much better. Right, now that that is out of the way, I made myself a new axe. Um, let me check the agenda board and see what else we could build. There's a bunch of other stuff. I feel like over here in this area, there is a bit of space that I feel needs something, you know, right here. Maybe instead of building a warehouse, it wouldn't be a bad idea. It's pretty simple. Maybe we could build another home up here or some sort of building with a purpose. I always, I always feel like my buildings need to serve some sort of purpose or function. Otherwise, it kind of takes away from the, from the immersion, you know? I don't want to build another portal yet. I think I'll wait for a very long time before I, or before I finally build one. But we have a bakery, granary, a mason, graveyard, mill, lighthouse, warehouse, and fishery. Fishery would be better near the shore, but yeah, maybe we, we should build a warehouse. We'll build like a, a tall two-story warehouse that the uh, sugarcane farmers can put their sugarcane in. I also went ahead and chopped down some trees already, so that will save us a lot of time. And that is kind of all we need. Some trapdoors for the lines. Maybe another set of this. Do I have any yep, slabs? Yes, I do. And let's go and lay the foundations out for this warehouse that we are going to build. We got the frame down. Now we could either fill it in with oak wood or start with the roof. I think I want to start with the roof first. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I have to place this down. Okay, so we need to make um, of this, but mainly a lot of this actually. And let's just outline it so we have an idea of how it's gonna look. Okay, let's climb on up. Alright, so that is the warehouse roof. Now we need to fill in the walls. Alright, so the inside of it is good so far, just need to decorate that. But yeah, this will be the uh, warehouse that the sugarcane farmers put their sugarcane in. So they don't have to keep stuffing it inside their small house. Now, I'm kind of curious to see what it'll look like from the distance, so let's go off into that island over there. Yeah, yeah, that looks like there's some space there. Maybe we could fill something in right here, too. You know, maybe like a wagon or something, just so it's not so empty. But other than that, this is what everything looks like so far. I quite like how this world is turning out. All right, so if we take a look over here, as you can see, I have built a massive silo. Well, not too massive, but um, inside of it, I haven't added anything yet. I can't decide what I want to decorate it with. Maybe just wood, crafting table, and some chests. But in here, I put sand and uh, chests, the first floor and the second floor as well. Um, these little wooden pressure plates to me are like cutting boards where you would get the sugar cane and you cut them up. And the sand, uh, I don't really know why I put in here. I felt like you put sugar cane on sand to make it grow. But um, 
over here as you can see I don't have any sand on there so I don't know why I, I just wanted to put sand in here but yeah um, <laughs> that is the warehouse and the silo uh, as well as the reshaping of our little forge blacksmith area I think that will be the end of this episode let me know what you think about it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.